today I'm going to be doing my tackle bag review. I just got, or currently have a new tackle bag. Um, this is for, for more for uh, bass fishing. Uh, pretty much pond fishing. This is a uh, spider wire, spi yeah, it's just a spider wire backpack. Um, I got this at Field and Stream for around like 15 bucks. I had like a coupon and I had like money off, like buy 50, get like 10 or $15 off. So I got this and this is probably one of the best purchases I've ever gotten, uh, to be honest. Uh, usually I'm one of those guys that get like the big huge tackle boxes and carry around 5,000 lures. This time I to, like I uh, just decided I wanted to switch it up a little bit. Uh, carry something that I can actually like carry around instead of a, uh, you know, like lugging a huge backpack or something like this. And this is really nice and it's only, uh, it only goes over one shoulder. So let's get right into it. So inside my first compartment here. There's going to be some mystery tackle box stickers, as you can see right there, and some Plano separators. In this next container, I'm going to have some tape, electrical tape, and some band-aids, just in case I get hurt or anything, so that uh, it seals up the wounds a little bit, put some tape around it, and I'm good. Okay, so in this next bag, I have a Trilene Extra Smooth Casting 12 pound test, some live bait must add hooks uh, used for trout and bluegill. See, they're kind of small, but they work. And last, I have a balsa wood bobber, they work pretty well. This is all the stuff I really use for bluegill. In this compartment out here. I have my new scale, I'm really excited about this, and my new pair, actually my old pair of braided scissors by Baker, if you can see that, there you go. This is my new scale, it's by Rapala, it's a digital scale. Okay, next up is actually, this is actually the uh, sunglasses uh, container right here. This is really nice. Okay, now on the side of my bag, I have a uh, fish D hooker right here. Okay, for my next compartment, which is this compartment right here, I store pretty much all of my uh, um, soft plastics in here, plus or minus a few other things. Uh, I'll start off with my two hard baits, pretty much. Um, these are the Excalibur High Tech Tackle Reel Crawls. I got these on sale, pretty cheap. Buy three, get. Buy three, get one free. It was a pretty good deal. Then I got my Chatter Baits, one of my all time favorite baits. Um, these are the Easy Skirts ones, but you can make your own if you really want to, but these are kind of expensive because these are the Z Man ones. But, anyways, on to the next one the Fish Grip. I got this for Christmas. Uh, it's really nice, it doesn't harm the fish that much. Anyways, next one, I got the Real Image HDS High Definition Series Fork Tail Bait Fish. Then I have the Tough Bait Terrapin 1 Salt Infused uh, Baits. I used one. Not very good with Cinco's. I am really terrible with Cinco's, to be honest. Um, other than that, here's my, uh, my other baits. Soft plastics. Um, you can tell I kind of like soft plastics, and I hold them all together in this little carabiner. I saw this offline somewhere. I got a carabiner and strewn them all together like this instead of putting them in Plano boxes and making all their colors go together and making them look really terrible. But anyways, I got some Robo worms, uh, straight tail, mean green. I love chartreuse tails. Uh, Robo worm, shaky head for the shaky heads, uh, desert crawl, almost like a pink or jelly color. Um, Biospawn, love Biospawn, Biospawn is pretty nice. Zoom super flukes, uh, watermelon red, always the way to go. Seven inch, I think. Uh, new color, watermelon violet, finesse, almost looks like a bluegill color. 
uh, got some power bait, pretty good baits. Always purple worm, best way to go in the summer at least. Uh, especially when you're a little kid, I always use purple worms, always got fish. Um, got some power worms, uh, Berkeley power worms, seven inch, 10 inch, uh, red flakes, I think that's pumpkin. Uh, then I got some swim baits, some ripple shads, um, kind of almost like a green back for salt water. Um, and that's about it. Almost looks like a shad, I guess you could say. Then these are good for trailers. Uh, the chigger crawls, chigger crawls are really good bait. The uh, smell of the Berkeley is pretty darn good. I like the color too. Looks good. This is the shad imitation ripple shad. Looks really nice, especially if you got shad in a pond. I'd uh, hook on one of these. Got a Z-Man. What is this? Turbo crawl. This is from uh, Mr. Tack Box. Mr. Tack Box is awesome. If you haven't subscribed to them, subscribe to them. Oh, got a text. Uh, got some more worms. Charlie's worms. Got the net bait shaky head. Also from the MTV. Uh, net bait. Go to bait. Um, trailers. That's about it. That's my middle package. Got one. Okay guys, so this is my tackle box right here. It has the mystery tackle box logo. So these are my jerk baits starting out. Uh, first is like a green back with a black spot, Gary Yamamoto. And here's a different color of them. The smaller versions, I love those baits. Along with a larger Gary Yamamoto with a black and red fleck finish, I guess you could say. Uh, I like them because they're really shiny. Um, this is the live target lure. It's a jerk bait. It uh, looks like a full of shad. I love jerk baits, so I have like eight or nine of them. I got this cheap one. It looks pretty well. It would do well for like mackerel or something. So that's why I got it. I don't know. It's like two bucks, so it doesn't really matter. Um, then next, I don't know the exact name of this lure, but it's made in Japan, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it was like in the mystery tackle box, but I've caught a few bass on it, so it's pretty good. Um, it has like a Pac-Man in his eye, it looks pretty sweet. Uh, I just picked these up at Field and Stream. They're two pretty cheap uh, jerk baits as well, but they look pretty nice. Okay, so now I have two Gary Yamamoto crankbaits. One is a shad color, and one is a ba baby blast color. A bass, excuse me. <clears throat> then I have a Gary Yamamoto popper. That is the smallest type. Um, that is a shad color as well, or a black back. That's what they call their shad color, pretty much. And here's their walk the dog style. Um, Bait by Gary Yamamoto in a frog pattern. Here's a few shad wraps. Here's a jointed perch shad wrap that dies pretty low. Um, dive, I think it's eight to ten feet or something like that. Um, here's another one that's non jointed. Uh, it looks like a dying bait fish. Then here is one of my jointed. Uh, swim baits I got I showed you one earlier in the video then here is a uh, I think it's a sixth sense maybe or something like that it has no rattle and it's a uh, crayfish color here are my uh, bullet weights that I use for bass fishing especially on a Texas or Carolina rig works pretty good Okay, so here are some of my drop shots and my drop shot hooks. I think this is a size 6 drop shot hook. Um, for a smaller presentation for finicky bass. I haven't used, gotten to use it much, but drop shot hooks are pretty good for almost any fishing. Um, I've used them to catch bluegill sometimes. 
Okay, so here are some of my Texas rig uh, or weedless hooks that I like to use for bass. That's probably my favorite hook to use. And then here is my hula popper. Um, this is a nice topwater bait, especially like when it's almost dark. Then I have a uh, mini strike king. It's almost like a Carolina. I think it's a Carolina um, spinner on there. It's uh has some really nice color to it. It's small, so you can catch crappie and smaller bass. And here I have a uh, rooster tail. Uh, it's like the smallest size because I like to fish rooster tails in the creeks. I usually catch like rock bass. Um, also, small trout. Then here are some of my, uh, I think these are Strike King finesse jigs. This is a bluegill pattern. I think these are 3 eighths of an ounce. Uh, I usually put a trailer around the back of them. <laughs> and here's for stained water. This is the blue and black color. Then finally we have the just brown color. So yeah, that's pretty much my tackle box. Thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned for more fishing videos.